Okay, uh, I'll try to implement as many functions as I can from underscore JS. So the first one is each. So basically, you give it a list or an object, or add an array or an object, and you pass it a callback function. And for each element, it it will um, execute the callback function, and it's also allow you to pass a context. So we can I can show it to you uh, in an example. So. First thing I already installed, so let me show you the package in JSON. I already installed underscore. So const equal require. So I will give it, I will get underscore, then I will destruct the each function. And I'll just run the examples that they have. Okay, and we don't have uh, a layout. So console log and also here console log. So if I run this, so for the array part, for the array one, we see the element, the index, and the uh, whole object. So each time, each will pass the element, the index, and the whole object. Even if you pass an object, it will pass the value and the key and then the whole object and this is um, really nice and we can pass a context to it as well so for, I will provide you an example so const user equal an object it has a property called friends and this friends is also an object will have user1 as key to true user2 to false user3 true and user um, 4 as false as well and for example let's say the user submitted a form which has uh, which produced an array so each that value let's say for example user 1 user uh, 4 and user 5 and we want to see if these values exist in this user object and if they exist, what their values are. So this is the array. And for the callback function, I will pass a function. And I will only use the value. And I need to pass a, a function keyword. So I won't use that row function because the row function does not have the this bounded in it. So this in a row function will go to the uh, upper closure, upper uh, scope and try to get this from there. So I will use the normal function. And I will just console log this, and I will pass the context as user dot friends. So for each iteration, this will point to user dot friends. So I will run it. So for each iteration, we see the user object appears, the user dot friends object appears, and basically you can just put val as a key, run it. We see undefined for user five because it does not exist. For user four, it's false. For user two. For user one is, is true, which is correct. So this is nice and allows us to write uh, generic functions that we can pass to multiple underscore uh, objects, uh, functions, sorry. So let's implement one ourselves. I will create a variable called each two will, uh, will accept an object, uh, a function called fun and uh, context. And so you, you can basically check if this object is an array using array is array. If it's an array, use uh, for and access the length. If it's an object, so else, use object.keys and get the length of that array. But there is a more generic way we can do it. So for in and remove these. So for each key in this object, which I will give you an example what this might provide. So let's say const uh, object, or let me increase the font. So const array equal uh, name and for const key in array. So this will give us the index for each iteration. So console look the key. So we have the index. 
So array of index 0 will point to what? Array of index 1 will point to name. And even if you did this on a, an object, So on R, oh, this would give us the keys, which uh, works very fine in our case. So what we can do is just, if we have context, we, no, before that we can just function, we can just call the function, sorry, with the object value in that iteration. So object of key, if this was a normal object, this will be the key and this will, and this will resolve to the value. If it was an array, this would be an index, and all of this would be resolved to that value in that index. Then pass the index or the key, then uh, pass the object itself. So this is uh, the most basic implementation. But to handle the context case, we just need to check. So if we have context uh, function dot call, so I will call this function with the context that you provided. And I will pass the arguments, which is object key, the key object. Else, I will just uh, call it normally, like we used to do it. And I think in uh, in, load, in underscore they retain the object after they loop on it. Uh, it's not necessarily, but uh, we can just do it. So I'll just console log put some stuff just to separate the results so, so we can compare them so I can just copy these two and put them at the end and I'll use each two which is our version reset this so we see the same behavior but there is one thing uh, to note that these keys, when you used uh, for in on an array, it will be strings, but here it's a number. So this is something to uh, remember. You can easily convert them in the callback function. And let's now let's now give an example for the context. So I will just copy this, all of this, at the end. Omit user two, and pass each two. With, the, with user two friends, so we have the same behavior. But uh, what happened if you passed an arrow function here, and you try to access this dot van? So this will always give you undefined. But this here will reference the global function, the global um, this, or the global context, which I believe it's. Uh, uh, the node instance itself so you will find functions there like set time out and this stuff I can prove it to you by before this I will just this dot user one will be equal to smiley face and so we won't see undefined three times we will see a uh, smiley face then undefined undefined I think my laptop just hanged anyway so reset So node each should give us. So as you can see, the fit. So this dot user one give us the smiley face, which is the value I stored inside the global function, the global uh, this, or the global context. So we can just now return the function. Use the function keyword. 